Hey, Plumber Tom here. Knowing the system pressure in a potable water system is really important, especially to maintain a safe and good working pressure. In this video, we'll look at a few ways that you can check the pressure. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I have some special tips for professional plumbers regarding system pressures. System pressures inside potable water systems are required to be below 80 PSI according to code. Pressure reducing valves can maintain pressures in a safe range, but they do fail over time and have to be replaced. So let's look at a few ways that you can check your system pressure if you don't have a gauge built into the water pipe system and you need to find out what the pressure is. First of all, you will need a gauge. I prefer a gauge that will read up to 200 PSI since excessive pressures are often above 100 PSI. You can purchase a gauge from a local hardware store or plumbing supplier or you can build your own like this using a gauge with quarter inch MIP threads, a three quarter by quarter inch bushing, and a three quarter inch FIP by female hose adapter. You can build your own in this way. Either way, you need a gauge that you can thread onto a male garden hose thread connection. And I'll leave some links for purchasing gauges in the comments below this video. One way to check your pressure is to put the gauge on an outside hose faucet and turn it on. You'll get a quick reading. The problem with this method is that water pipe systems in some houses have the outside hose faucets branching off before the pressure reducing valve, so you'll get a reading that's higher than what would be inside of the house in this case. Another place that you can check the pressure is on a water heater drain. You can thread the gauge onto the drain outlet and turn on the drain and check the pressure. This usually works pretty well, but if your water heater is older, it might gum up your gauge with sediment. Also, if your water heater has a plastic drain valve, you would do best to leave it alone. Plastic drain valves are often prone to leaking once they're opened up, especially if they're older, so I try to leave plastic drain valves alone. Tankless water heaters have a threaded hose connection on the service ports, so you can check the pressure there. Another place that you can check pressure is at your washer connection on either the hot or cold side. Washers use garden hose threads as a connection so you can turn off the valve, disconnect the hose, and then connect the gauge. Turn on the valve and you should get a pressure reading that way. Or if you have other hose connection points throughout the system, you might check it there. But if you're struggling to find a hose connection, you can also connect a gauge to a faucet by removing the aerator and threading the gauge into the faucet using a special adapter. The adapter has the option to thread into a female thread or a male thread on the faucet aerator location. And the male hose thread on the other side of the adapter connects to the gauge. This is a quick and easy way to check the pressure, but some aerators are difficult to get out or do not have the same thread size, so don't try and force it. All right, now for my tips for those of you who are professional plumbers. In my opinion, you should be checking the pressure of the potable water system every time that you service or install. There's two reasons for this. First of all, if you're installing a water heater or a faucet or a fixture to a system that has excessively high pressure, you're doing your customer a disservice by leaving that high pressure situation. High pressure is one of the biggest killers of water heaters, so making sure that there's a safe working pressure maintains the water heater longer as well as faucets and fixtures and valves and everything. So it's important to check that pressure every time. Now here's the second reason you should do that. You make more money doing that. I have made a lot of money using my pressure gauge to find out what the system pressure is and then by selling pressure reducing valves and if necessary, replacing expansion tanks. Now this is not because I like to rip customers off. I am strongly opposed to plumbers who go out there and charge exorbitant amounts to customers for services they don't need because they don't know any better. That's wrong. But that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is going and checking the pressure and leaving your customer in a good working situation so that their water heater will last longer, their fixtures will last longer, and the system will be in better shape over time. And you leave a lot of money on the table if you're not checking pressures and if you're not helping your customers in that way. So now you know a few ways that you can check the system pressure. There's a number of places you can do that within a system. Do you have any other methods that I haven't covered for checking system pressure? Leave that in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.